darling! Welcome or welcome back. It's Lady Draws a Lot. I'm an illustrator and a comic book artist and I'm back today with another unboxing, using, and review of the Sketchbox art subscription box. So uh, this is the February edition and I'm really excited because I took it out of the mailbox and I just the first thing it hit me with these beautiful colorful flowers on the front and I just oh I'm so excited to see what's in here it's making me think that it's like colorful watercolors or, or something of that nature just from that because obviously that I guess I don't have much else to say. I'm really excited to open this. You clicked on this video. Thank you for that, by the way. Uh, so I'm sure you're excited to see what's in this box too. So let's unbox. Let's unbox this box. I shouldn't sing anymore. Technically wasn't singing. Let's get creative. <laughs> All right, so I could not have been farther from what was actually in the box with my guess of like watercolors and colorful. Um, but you know what? This really does fit the vibe of February. So this makes a lot of sense for this time of the year. And I am really into the products this time so let's go over what we've got here let's start with the faber castell trio sharpener and this sharpener has a slot for three different types of pencils we've got regular graphite jumbo graphite and then on the other side here this is a spot for color colored pencils so that's pretty cool uh, i've not seen that sort of innovation before i guess where you have a separate graphite and a separate colored pencil slot so that's pretty cool all right then over here we have the chunky charcoal in black and then we have here this is the hall bean right i got it right somebody in the comments told me hall bean right i got it okay <laughs> soft pastel in blue gray but look at this look at this warning cancer am i gonna be okay sketchbox <laughs> not gonna lie that's a little little scary but uh all right let's just move on i guess here we have the Fabriano toned paper pad. This is in the shade C. I have never used a blue tone paper and guys, I'm so excited to do so. So excited. Then here we've got the Faber-Castell pit pen in white. So this is a white tipped, oh, come on, there we go, pit pen. Pretty cool. I've not used this before from Faber-Castell, so really excited to see how that performs. And then the Prismacolor colored pencil in blanc or white. <laughs> uh, and then the Faber-Castell charcoal set. So this set has pretty much everything you see there and uh that is all that's it okay 
So I have no idea what I'm making yet, but let me get my space all set up and then let's get to work. So this is where I landed with my charcoal drawing today. We have a lady in the water. So uh, let's talk about all the products here. We can start with this paper. I really like this paper and I really do like the color. The nice um, tone and very subtle blue here is great and the texture of the paper is um, not completely smooth. It's got some tooth to it, uh, but definitely not anything like a watercolor or anything like that. But this texture will take the charcoal medium just beautifully. So this is a really nice paper and I do really enjoy it. Uh, says the retail price for this is $9.99. I think that's fair. I think it's a beautiful toned paper. All right, let's move on to the Prismacolor white pencil. Uh, this worked very well. Prismacolor is a solid brand. I really trust the products that they make because they are reliable and I don't believe I met a Prismacolor product that I didn't enjoy using. So um, very good pencil. This retails at $2.20. That's great. If you need a white colored pencil, check this one out. All right, now let's talk about the Pit Artist Brush Pen in white. I really like this pen. I've only tried the black Pit Pens from Faber-Castell. So seeing this white one, it's nice and opaque. It works really nicely with the charcoal. And I honestly wasn't sure how that would go because I thought maybe the tip would really pick up the charcoal and stain. And it, it's not too bad. Maybe a little bit of that happened, but I'm not worried about it. I'm pretty sure I can clean off that tip and it's going to be good to go in the future. So this retails at $4.10. I think that's a fair price. It's, um, uh, yeah, no, I think that's a fair price. I, I expected it to be like $3.95 or something. So this <laughs> $4.10 is not far off that. So very good. Okay, now let's check out this chunky charcoal in black. This was a nice, rich black charcoal and yeah, good for wide areas. Very nice, dark, rich uh, black tone there. So very good. Retails at $4.59. This is a nice big chunk of charcoal that will get you far. So good price, awesome. All right, now this uh, Faber-Castell charcoal set. Nice set. Um, you can tell I'm going to say something here, don't you? <laughs> You're right. I do have a gripe. My gripe is, are these two 
uh, charcoal pencils. Now the medium charcoal pencil, I was actually finally able to sharpen and, and use, but the soft charcoal pencil, oh, this just kept breaking and breaking and breaking. I could not get that sharpen and I unfortunately don't have a, like a studio knife to use to try and sharpen things that way like a I I really should have a exacto knife I should really have an exacto knife here I just don't so uh, I didn't have that handy that said this did come with this uh, <laughs> this sharpener here right so these being the only pencils that would fit in this sharpener, well, <laughs> I could surmise that they were meant to sharpen these and <laughs> poor, poor soft charcoal pencil just didn't survive. I even got out my trusty uh, Derwent sharpener, which is just a fantastic, beautiful sharpener and it just didn't didn't wasn't having it so uh, that was frustrating but that aside all these other products in the package work very well and this kind of kit is really useful to have if you're just starting out in charcoal it kind of gives you a lot and if you have an exacto knife to sharpen uh, this pencil this charcoal pencil I think you'll be in a really good place you know this this is a really nice little set so uh, this set retails at $15.70 I think that's all right um, that's yeah not bad not bad at all um, a lot a lot goes in here so very good okay so yeah I guess the last thing to talk about oh no second to last thing to talk about would be the sharpener and I assume this is an excellent sharpener I had a frustrating experience trying to sharpen that charcoal pencil ah! but uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to assume this is a really nice sharpener. I love the idea of it. I'm going to clean it out and get all that charcoal out of there and use it for colored pencils, I think. All right. Then uh, the last thing would be this Hall Bean Soft Pencil. Uh, so, pencil soft pastel in blue gray uh this worked nice it's a very nice blue you know what though the the color difference from the paper is there i see it it's there it would have been nice to have a little bit more <clears throat> of a difference between the paper and this color that would have been nice because you could have gotten more of a range of tones in there than than this but you know it's all right this worked fine and i don't have anything bad to say about it other than i hope it doesn't give me cancer please don't give me cancer halbeen please okay <laughs> <laughs> all right well that said that is everything for this february sketch box what a nice box this month i do like it so i thank you guys so much for joining me if you're still here i really appreciate you i will see you guys next time bye